For this client, we're going to do a fade on the side and we're going to uh, cut the top, we're going to style it straight forward and we're going to flip the front up. As you can see with this client, his hair grows straight forward and uh, he's got a calic in the front, so flipping it up in the front is, um, is the best that we can do and that's going to, it's going to give it the best style. You know, if he is, when you have a client like this that wants to brush their hair to the side or do something like that, it's very difficult. He's actually got two calics, one on each side. So what we're going to wind up doing is pushing the front up and cutting it shorter uh, just in the front so it stands up. But for it to stand up, his hair on top is so thick, probably one of the thickest, um, one of the thickest uh, clients that I have. So we're going to have to use two different size thinning shears to really thin it out. Uh, trim it down with the scissor over comb technique and we really have to lighten up the hair behind it so the front will stay up and then we're going to use um, uh, extremely powerful paste and then uh, we're going to do a 3 8 fade on the side which usually isn't very difficult but his hair here likes to stick straight out so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to slightly round it in towards the top which is okay. When you're going with a forward haircut, we can round it in a little bit, but we don't want to take the corners completely off because it won't balance with the top. Uh, this particular client is very tall, so um, as we work our way towards the back, we want to keep the hairline as low as possible. But as you can see, he has a very difficult uh, tail to deal with. So we're going to have to we're going to have to taper that right out and bring it up just above the tail. So um, again. He has a very difficult uh, tail to deal with, so we're going we're gonna to taper that out. I go through all the blades that I have to taper that out, and then we try to leave the corners here uh, as low as we can. As I said, he's very tall, so we don't want like a huge amount of space between his collar and the back of his, and the back of his neck, or the back of his hairline. You, you don't want the hairline up behind the ears. And then the other thing that we have to be very careful of is he has a, a higher hairline behind the ear. It's very thick in front of the ear, but it's a little thinner than the rest. You see the hair's a lot thicker here than it is here. So we don't want this big arcing white wall around. So we have to use a lot of finesse when we're cutting his hair because we want the outline to look completely natural and we're not gonna be able to take a ton of hair off around the ear, which is the complete opposite through all through up in here where the hair is so thick, where we're gonna to have to really get in there and thin it out a lot and use a few different texturizing techniques. So to start out, what I wanna do is I wanna dampen the hair down. Now, even something as simple as wetting the hair down, when the hair is this thick, what's gonna happen is if I just dampen it down, the, hair's, the water's gonna roll right off. So what we wanna do is we wanna dampen it down just slightly first then we're going to take a large comb we're going to comb through it so the so the uh, hair absorbs the moisture and then we're going to wet it again I'm going to move that comb very slow so I don't miss any sections and I don't want to see any scissor or clipper marks so we're going to get our center guide So it's especially important that you're holding your scissors correctly. Okay, so just the cutting blade moves as if you're moving both blades, it's not going to cut the hair, especially hair this thick. So as you can see my comb, I'm slightly rounding my comb. I don't want to take the corner off, but I want to slightly round my comb. This haircut is going to be more of a contour shaped haircut, meaning it's going to follow the, the shape of his head versus a square shape where there's going to be a lot more weight in the corners. Okay, and then we're going to comb it down take a close look. I'm going to take one more section here on the side. Lean your head back a little bit. Now you can see how the hair is growing in a circle. So now what I want to do is I want to come across and blend that in with the top because this is still part of the top here. We're above the, we're above the pivot here, right there, above the pivot, above the crown. And he has the type of hair that no matter how short it is, it lays down anyway, so we don't have to worry about getting it too short where that's going to stand up in the back.
And I'm going to move the comb slow because I want to remove a lot of the thickness. I'm going about halfway down on the shaft of the hair with the wider tooth blending shear or thinning shear. And then if you see a little bit that a little bit of hair that looks longer, you can keep it in the same spot and it will cut length. Are you a member of howtocuthair.tv? Learn the art of men's barbering from third generation master barber Greg Zorian in full HD 24 seven from anywhere in the world. Sign up for your free membership and learn how to increase your efficiency and make more money behind the chair. HowToCutHair.tv So I'm going to move that comb really slow. And I know that I'm going to do a 3 8 of an inch taper or fade on the side. So I can pretty much rest this comb almost on his head. And take an imaginary line straight up in the air. And at the very end, just slightly round it into the top to meet the guide. So you can see we're doing quite a bit of this haircut with the clipper over comb technique. And what I really like about it is you can control a lot of hair at one time so you can see how much hair we're removing. And we can control the graduation which is another way of saying shorter to longer. So basically what I'm doing is by removing all that bulk is when I come in here with a larger blade, I won't lose sight of the cutting blade. Whereas if I was just, I just had an attachment on there and I was starting from the bottom and working my way up, you lose sight of the blade or the attachment. But here, you know, at, at one point, you can see once we get to here, the guides meet and you can see exactly where you are and you're not in danger of going too high and you're not going to leave a shelf or a mushroom or a bowl look or a heavy weight line to blend out. So now as you can see right through there where typically we'd have a lot of work to do to blend, we've completely eliminated the blending step. So that's cut out about uh, 10 minutes of the haircut. Without, and we've actually been cutting slower. So we're just going to work very slowly around the head. We need to let the, let the clipper work. Remember this is extremely thick hair, so the thicker the hair, the slower you have to move the clipper so it actually cuts. eighth of an inch and we're going to do it again in the center and I just want to work on tapering out that center I'm going to take the corner of the blade again and just point cut into it now on the corners I'm going to tilt the blade up a little first to make it longer and then I'm going to flatten it out but I'm just going to scoop it out or use a flicking motion as soon as I get to the base of the hairline because we don't want that up any higher. And then the center we're going to take, we'll take up higher. That's as close as we can get it with the eighth. We'll take it up higher with the next, with our, uh, our next blade length down. So now I'm going to use a sixteenth of an inch blade. So we're going to slide that on. Make sure the clipper's on when you close the blade. So you'll find the more haircuts that you do, there's no two hairlines, no two guys' hairlines are alike. So you basically, you know, we, we have our set rules, but you basically got to do whatever it takes to get it, to get it to look just right. What I don't want to do is take an outliner and just cut it straight across and just chop it right off. And then because he's tall, it's going to look like a, a shelf when he stands straight up. So I want to taper it out as much as I possibly can without going too high. So 
So this is my 16th. And I can actually do a little bit of clipper over comb with my 16th. So again, I'm taking the corner of that blade, like three or four teeth, and just getting into where the, um, where the tail is. So now you, now you can see it's starting to fade out. The clipper is parallel to the floor. The blade is parallel to the floor in the open position. Now I'm going to close it halfway. Now I'm going to close it all the way and come back across. And then we're going to continue this on to the other side. I'm going to make my line on the other side. Okay, so now we have another corner here. Keep his chin parallel to the floor so we get that sideburn even. Okay, now that completes our haircut, our outline, our taper. And if you notice, if you think back or rewind back and look, not once did I have to go through here and do any blending. We completely eliminated the blending step with someone that had extremely thick hair on top, um, light hair on the, and light hair on the sides, where normally that would take half if not three quarters of the haircut. And we took that completely out of the haircut. So um, really want you to pay close attention to that when you're, doing your, when you're doing your haircuts. I think you're gonna be really happy with the results. Introducing Zorian of New York, premium grooming products for the modern man. Designed by third generation master barber, Greg Zorian. Made in the USA and not tested on animals, each of our styling products is infused with natural ingredients and features light, clean fragrances. Our two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is sulfate and paraben-free and color safe. Do you own a barbershop or salon, rent a chair, or run a school? Find out how we support our retailers with world-class barbering education and product knowledge training. We're currently accepting applications for wholesale accounts and invite you to apply on our website, Zorian of New York. For the style portion of this haircut, um, we have two choices. Uh, we're gonna go with the, our Zorian of New York product line. We can use either a grooming cream or a shaping paste. Uh, what the grooming cream is going to do, it has, a, it has a medium shine and a medium hold. Uh, it has coconut oil and lavender oil in it, which uh, really moisturize the, the hair and scalp and uh, condition it. And it's very powerful and, it would stand the, and it's going to stand the hair up. In this particular case, uh, this model, he likes a, a matte finish, which would lead us to the paste. But also, he needs something extremely strong that's going to hold that front up because he has such a strong forward growth pattern and his hair is so thick that it wants to lay down. So with our, with our shaping paste, the way, the way that I designed it is it's a very, very thick, powerful shaping paste that's going to hold the hair up, um, but it spreads, it spreads like a cream. So when I, when I say it spreads like a cream, when you, when you put it in your hand, and you, run, and you emulsify it in your hands, it spreads like a cream and there's absolutely no clumps and it's water soluble. So you could stand in the shower for about 30 to 60 seconds and the water, it would, the, just the water alone before you shampoo your hair would completely rinse the product out. So we wanna get it through as best we can, all the way through and down to the roots and then go back through the front. And then we just we can just kind of style it with our fingers with, with this kind. We don't have to go through a brush after. And um, you know he'll he'll have a nice strong hold there. So for a quick review, we went with the we decided to go with the the Zorian of New York shaping paste, which is a. Uh, which is a very powerful, strong paste, which spreads like a cream. So it goes through the hair real easy. It rinses out real easy due to, due to the fact that it's water soluble. 
and um, he's going to have a hold all day. His hair is not going to move. And uh, we'll spin him around here so you can see what it looks like all the way around. <laughs> 